Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, before I get started with today's festivities, probably some UFO chasing. I wanted to go fishing, but was, they screwed up the forecast and it's kind of breezy, so I don't know about that. Before I get started with all this, however, I wanted to show you some brand new scoop marks that I have on my leg. In a public place, you might hear people a little bit. So we'll put this on pause and I will attempt to show you this. Okay, you should be able to see this. It's close up. I've been noticing this leg itching for several days, right in that spot. I hadn't taken a look at it until today. The odds of getting scratches like this and by accident are almost zero. And it's just not going to happen. You would have to have uh, some things parallel to each other that you scratch yourself on at a weird angle, too. So, it looks like the grays are uh, back on my case. I've been noticing uh, little scoop marks and stuff anyway. That's not a good sign. Like I said, it's been in there for a few days. I haven't been out and, you know, doing anything that would, would account for this. So... And like I said, the, look at it. The angle is at a weird angle, and it would be almost impossible to do this accidentally. And it sure as hell not doing it intentionally. So, I'm probably going to try the solar obliteration technique again today because. Like I said, it's just a bit too breezy. Other than that, the day is spectacular, but that wind is something else. I'm on vacation, I will get out fishing eventually. I wanted to do the solar obliteration technique again. Uh, let's see if we can pick up any more UFOs. That's a good technique. You gotta be careful because you don't want to fry your camera, obviously. But the other thing is that there can be insects and birds going through there, and you gotta screen those out. The object I saw yesterday was hovering up near the clouds, and definitely that was not a bug. It wasn't on the lens or anything. And the other thing. It was like a, looked like a miniature jet trail. I have no idea. Neither one of them, I don't believe, were clouds. So I am at a public park in Honeyland Falls, New York, and you'll see. I don't have a lot of opportunity here as far as solar obliteration, but I'll see what I can do. Other places have more opportunity than this one does. That's it for this video. Like I said, we'll see what we can do and hopefully pick up some UFOs using solar obliteration technique. 